I am not exaggerating. These things have been said to me. Sadhguru, the trees have still not come. I said, they're coming, Shiva is sending. Two to three years' time, the temperatures in the ashram changed significantly in summers. about what you did in the Lingi because it was completely bare. See, uh, that picture is a wrong picture, what you're saying. It's completely bare, not like this. It was sheared off all the big trees. So only bamboo and small trees, small plants and bushes were there. But the land was still super rich. It's like jungle which has had uh, thousands of years of undisturbed soil. But because of the animal movement, if uh, these trees were all removed in a span of six to eight years or something like that, in that range, not more than that. Because it was removed in that range, still substantial damage of soil erosion, animal uh, stampeding over that had not happened. Some extent it had happened, not very big. So, in many ways, uh, it's a blessing we came at the right time, we noticed that and we acted on that. <coughs> Problem is, most people who are involved in it have even forgotten because they did it in such a daze. In a twenty-two days, over six million seats, two two seats. Simple thing I did was I made a metal cone. So just twisted a metal plate, thin plate, made it into a strong cone like that, and fixed it under under a stick. The cone is because it goes in easy. That's one thing. Not a totally pointed cone with a little open, it goes in easy. And uh, you know, if you make a hole like this, cylindrical hole, it tends to collapse. If you do this, do this, all they had to do is they just poke, poke and go because land was wet. Then we had people, bags of sand. Those people went and kept bags of sand all over the place. Yo, manal edukku sadhguru, manal kaatle edukku edu edutthu pora sarugu, edukku yuvulo manal edutthu pogonu, manna irukkudu sadhguru, nalla irukkudu manna. This means our emotional people crying around me. Why sadhguru, we are transporting so much sand, so heavy up the hill, such fertile soil is there. <laughs> you know, at that time I could just tell them, idiots, just take it. Because then they knew they were idiots. Now they are all little bit enlightened. Then uh, seed planting people, mostly ladies, singing now some simple Tamil song. Put seed, put seed, put seed and go. Then I said all the men put one handful of sand, sand and go. Sadhguru, nalla man irkade manna potula. I said no man, I just put sand. Because if you put soil, the soil is like you know, like thick clay full of this thing. If one animal walks on it, that's it, the seed will never spout. So we put sand. Because of this one simple thing that we put sand, a handful of sand over every seed, sprouting was almost hundred percent. Because there was water, there was dampness in the… this thing. Always water percolates wherever there is low density. Sand is low density compared to soil, so naturally it'll draw water and it'll keep the seed watered till it needs it. Once it gets its roots, of course, it'll manage. So nearly hundred percent sprouting. And after that, animal walking, everything maybe one ten percent, ten, fifteen percent might have been destroyed because animals would eat up young trees and walking on it, elephants, all that. But within about nine to ten months, if I stood in the ashram, I could clearly see our trees because they were fresh, young leaf, like all of you, fresh, young, wet behind the ears, green. <laughs> they
just like that. They were this kind of green, so I could see. Oh, people, uh, the guru varliye, maram varliye. This, this, I'm not exaggerating this, these things have been said to me. Sadhguru, the trees have still not come, not come. I said, they're coming, Shiva is sending, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> From Kailash, <laughs> where he doesn't know what a tree is. <laughs> anyway, now you go and see, within two and a half, two to three years' time, the temperatures in the ashram changed significantly in summers. Today, I asked them to check it. Kwayamitur city, at noon time, what's the temperature? Ashram, what's the temperature? Significantly, very easily, almost across the area, it'll be minimum four percent. In shade, there will be six percent difference, simply because this hill is not radiating.